Here is an overview of our lesson today. In example one, I really just want to help you concrete the idea on how vertical asymptotes and horizontal asymptotes can be interpreted as limit notations in calculus. Next, in example two, we'll be looking to finding the limits at infinity for the most basic rational function, 1 over x, which is really the basis of our lesson today. I mean, everything to do with horizontal asymptote is built on top of this. Then we're going to carry this idea forward to help us find the limits at infinity for rational functions. Now, rational functions can be categorized in three types. Type 1, when the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. And here is an example of that. See, for this rational function, the degree of the numerator is 2. The degree of the denominator is 2. Right? So when the degree of numerator is de equal to the degree of the denominator, then by using the highest power rule, which we covered in the previous introduction video, we'll be able to conclude that this type of limit is always going to be equal to what? The leading coefficient of the numerator, in this case negative 5, divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator, in this case 2, always. See, whether, the, whether x is approaching positive infinity or negative infinity, doesn't matter. This type of limit is always going to be equal to the leading coefficient of numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. Right? By using the highest power rule, we, we're going to be able to prove that. Really cool stuff. Next, second type of rational function is when the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. And here's a, an example of that. When the degree of the numerator, 1, 1, is less than the degree of the denominator, 3. Now for this type of limit, once again, by using the highest power rule, we're going to be able to show that this type of limit is always going to be equal to 0. Whether x is approaching positive infinity or negative infinity, doesn't matter. This type of limit, type 2 rational function, is always going to have 0 limit. Right? Next. Degree 3, oh, sorry, type 3 rational function is when the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. And here is an example of that. When the degree of the numerator is 2, when the degree of the denominator is 1. See, 2 is greater than 1. And by using the highest power rule, we'll be able to show that this type of limit is always going to be equal to either positive infinity or negative infinity. Right? So that, that was using the highest power rule to prove each type of rational function. Cool. Next, then we're going to start looking into finding the limits and infinity for various types of functions, such as rad radical function or functions involving radical and something else. See, look at this function here. We're taking the limit of this complicated function involving radical function and something outside of the radical. See? And here we're actually going to revisit a re the, the, the really famous algebraic manipulation called multiplying conjugate. Right? We learned multiplying conjugate in our previous algebra course, right? And we're going to apply that here. Okay? Really cool stuff. So, as you can see, we're going to be doing a lot, a lot of algebra throughout this lesson here. Um, now, once we're done with algebra, then we're going to be taking a graphical approach to help us determine the limit at infinity for exponential function as well as trigonometric function. Right? So no more algebra. We're actually going to be taking a graphical approach to help us determine this type of, this type of limits. All right? So that's a really cool lesson. And trust me, you're going to have a lot of fun. So sit tight and let's explore the magical kingdom of horizontal asymptote by finding the limit of a function at infinity. Enjoy. <laughs>